Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be talking about Boston Blackie. Who is Boston Blackie, you might ask? Well, he's a jewel thief turned private eye. Originally, Boston Blackie was a series of books spanning from 1914 all the way to 1920. The books were so popular that they made a few movies, running from 1918 to 1927. Then in 1941, there was a revival of Boston Blackie, played by famous actor Chester Morris. And boy, he really set the bar high on this one. I would go so far as to say that when Chester Morris did these movies, it was like when Raymond Burr played Perry Mason. Because just like Burr, Chester Morris brought Boston Blackie to life. And I'll tell you this, Blackie is not an easy character to play because he's a good guy, basically. But, you know, he does things in a sneaky, roundabout manner. Well, that's what happens when you're a former thief. But he also does it in a sneaky way because the detective that busted him years ago, Inspector Faraday, is always hounding him. Whenever there's a crime committed, he's always putting the finger on Blackie. Every now and again, Blackie and his friend and partner, the Runt, get captured by bad guys and the inspector, but he always finds a way to get out because this guy can get out of anything. I swear he was a magician at one time. In fact, in one movie, he was doing a magic show for some prisoners. You can cuff Boston Blackie, and he can get out of them. He's been tied up, straight-jacketed, you name it, it's been done, and he always gets out. Now that's what you call an escape artist. His movies have a great air of mystery, along with a great deal of drama and adventure. Because you never know what Blackie's going to get into next. And you never know how he's going to get out of a situation. The movies were so popular that they made a radio series back in 1944, starring Chester Morris as Boston Blackie. It was made as a summer replacement for the popular radio drama Amos and Andy. So unfortunately, Chester Morris didn't continue with the radio series. However, back in 1945, they revived the radio series. This time, Blackie was played by Richard Colmar. It was so popular, it went on for five years, from 1945 all the way to 1950. Then in 1951, they created a television series, starring Kent Taylor as Boston Blackie. It ran for 58 episodes, lasting until 1953. I'm familiar with both the radio dramas and the series, but I think it's the movies that are really the best, mostly because of Chester Morris. There's just something about the way he plays Blackie. It's absolutely perfect. But as I often say during times like this, anything I say will not do the characters, the movies, or especially the actors justice. For that, you would have to see them for yourselves. So I suggest, if you ever get the time, try and look up a few of these Boston Blackie movies. Most importantly, look up the ones starring Chester Morris. Believe me, you will not be disappointed. This is Movie Fan, signing off.